What up, what up? Welcome back to the TR7 Skate YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching our videos. The past few videos we've done, tutorials, have maybe been a little bit more technical. So this one goes out for all of you who are getting into skateboarding and you're looking to be a little bit more comfortable on your board. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you two different moves. The first one is how to pop the board up into your hand. And the second one is how to jump back on it. These two moves are going to be especially helpful for those of you that are focusing more on the street side of things. It's just going to make your skateboard a little bit more accessible. It's going to make it easier to start off with a bit of speed and also to pick up your board without having to faff about bending down and picking it up every time. You can just pop it straight up into your hand, save yourself that back pain later on in life. Ooh. <laughs> So the move that I'm going to be starting with today is the popping up. This one's a lot easier to learn because you can do it stood still. At no point do you need to put both feet on the board. You don't need to be riding. So it's a nice easy one to get you used to where your feet need to be on the board to make this kind of move happen. So the first thing you want to be thinking about when you're popping the board up into your hand is you want to make sure you know which foot you're going to push down with and which hand you're going to catch with. You're only going to use one foot and one hand. Don't complicate it by trying to catch it with two hands. If you're regular, I'd recommend that you use your right foot and your left hand. And if you're goofy, I'd recommend you use your left foot and your right hand. And you'll find out why a bit later on in this video. So the biggest mistake we see with this one, so you don't ever want to do this one with your board straight in front of you because if you stamp on it like this, it's going to pop straight up towards you and if you're moving or anything, you'll just trip over it. So it's not really an ideal way of doing it. The best way to do it is have it across in front of you like this so that when you stamp on it, it goes up in front of you instead of coming straight towards you because you don't want to risk whacking into your knees or shins that's going to be quite painful so make sure you've set up your board side on parallel in front of you and you're going to pop it up across like this We see a lot of people when they're first trying this one, starting with their foot right up in the air and stamping down. Again, that's a really dangerous way of doing it because you're not going to be able to predict where your board goes and it's probably going to end up hitting you. So to start with, gently put your foot on the tail so it's good to go and then you've only got to push down until that tail hits the floor and that will bounce the nose of the board up. And that's where your hand comes in. So for me catching it with my left hand, before I've even pushed down with my foot, my hand's here ready to catch it, just to make it a little bit easier to grab hold of that nose. If you're so focused on the foot that you don't have a hand out, it's gonna be very last minute and there's a chance you could miss it. So just have that hand ready and get good at catching it like that. So it's a bit of hand-eye coordination, which you don't get a lot of in skateboarding, so it might be a bit new to you, but as long as you have that hand ready, if you give it a few goes, it should start to get easier and easier. So that's doing the popping up into the hand standing still. Eventually, when you get really good at it, you want to be able to do it moving. And moving is very similar, only you obviously you've got both feet on the board and your front foot's just going to slowly slip off as your tail hits the floor. So it should look a bit like this. That's a really useful thing to master if you can, because if you're moving, say you're skating through town, you're coming up to a curb, you haven't quite got the ollie yet to get up it, instead of stopping and picking up your board, walking up the curb, putting it down and skating again, you can just slide it up into your hand and carry on as usual. And obviously the next step is throwing it back down. So that was popping the board up into your hand. Now we're gonna talk a bit about throwing it down and jumping on it. This one is very helpful if you want to give yourself a bit of a head start when you're approaching an obstacle. Instead of starting stood still and pushing from zero to pick up your speed, you can do it moving and you'll already have that speed before you even push, like this. Not only are you going to give yourself a bit of a head start, but if you're trying a trick for hours on end, doing it this way is going to allow you to conserve a bit of your energy and save that energy for the actual trick instead of wasting so much time pushing and doing this over and over again. So it's a really good one to get the hang of because it's going to set you up for success. 
<laughs> this is one that you want to start off doing stood still and get really used to it on the spot and then over time you can slowly start adding a bit more speed to it and eventually once you master it you'll be able to run as fast as you possibly can and then throw your board down and you'll already be going at such a good speed you won't even need to push so it's a really good thing to get the hang of. The natural thing for most people is to have the board in front of them because they think they're going to throw it down and jump on it but actually that's a really bad way of doing it especially if you're trying to run or walk because you're just going to trip over it before you've even thrown it down. So for me because I'm regular I'm left foot forward and this is why I have the board in my left hand like we spoke about earlier got it in that left hand. I'm not going to hold it in front of me, I'm going to hold it next to me. And the reason for that is I want it to come down here on my side so that my front foot can join on straight away and I can start pushing straight away. If it's in front of me like I was saying, it's going to be a bit more awkward to get my feet in the right position and set myself off. So it's always better to have it by your side. If you're goofy, you should do it with your right hand and have it here. If you're regular, left hand, here. As well as having the board by your side, it's also good to have it a little bit behind you as well. And that's just going to make it a little bit easier when you drop it to get your front foot where it needs to go. If I have the board directly by my side, it's quite a stretch to reach for those bolts and that's going to ruin my balance before I've even tried to step on it. So make sure you've got it by your side and behind you a little bit. That's the sweet spot. Ready? the throwing down we've already mentioned it but you want to start doing it stood still and then do it moving and then do it jogging and work towards doing it full speed and sprinting you'll know when you've mastered this one because not only are you going to be running as fast as you possibly can before throwing down but when you come to throw down you're no longer just going to be dropping it but you're actually going to be throwing it forward a little bit as well and throwing all of your power into it. Once you've mastered it you'll find that you barely need to push. Say if I've got an obstacle just over there I could run from there, jump on about here and I'll be ready to hit the obstacle by the time I get there. If I was pushing it would take I don't know, four or five pushes to get ready for that. So it just helps you conserve a bit of energy. It's a good way of setting yourself up so that you're already going quick by the time you're on your board. So make sure you practice all the steps. This one isn't a particularly technical trick, but it can be scary to do full speed straight away. So work your way up to it. And by the time you're going full speed, you should feel nice and comfortable. Yeah. So that's the popping the board up into your hand and throwing it back down on the floor tutorial. They may be simple moves, but I assure you that if you practice stuff like this loads, then all the more technical stuff is going to be a lot easier. So take the time to work on this, get really comfortable with it and see if you can get it sprinting and see if you can get really good at popping it up into your hand every go because that's going to save you a lot of hassle as well. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are on it. If there's a trick or something in particular you're struggling with let us know and we'll do our best to film a video especially for you and don't forget to click subscribe and hit the little bell so that you don't miss our future videos every Saturday six o'clock